Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we'll have a look at Algorand. We've got plenty of things to go through, from a price analysis to some of the most recent updates throughout the Algorand ecosystem. Let's start with the Drone Racing League, the partnership between Playground Labs to launch first play to earn crypto sport based on Algorand blockchain. This is huge. Now, before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice, it's strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now, drone racing is about to fly into the next frontier in sport. Playground Labs, a play to earn P2E gaming affiliate of crypto investment funds, Hivemind Capital Partners, and the Drone Racing League, the world premier professional drone racing property, announced a partnership to extend DRLs in high speed drone races beyond IRL and eSport and into the metaverse. Now the companies will develop the first P2E Sports competition on Algorin, the leading high performance blockchain platform where players will raise DRL drones to earn cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens, also known as NFTs, which will transcend financial value from the digital sphere to reality. The DRL games achieve DRL's goals of leveraging Algorand's blockchain for their digital drone racing series that is launched in the metaverse and marks Playgrounds Lab inaugural product, setting a trend for more sport P2E application development in Web 3.0. So this was actually said by Playground Labs. We're excited to unveil the Playground Labs to build the infrastructure of the metaverse economy and to enable everyone to earn real economical utility by playing the game they love. The Drone Racing League is the most innovative, inclusive and high tech sport and DRL is made for metaverse and future global economy where P2E games will create community, economy stability and authentic engagement for participants around the world. This is exciting. The global gaming, cryptocurrency and drone markets are worth over 2 trillion as the emerging global audience of young, technology obsessed tech setters who love gaming, crypto and immersive sport like DRL continues to rise. So this is obviously exciting because this is a new embarkment for Algorand. It's also a new embarkment for Playground Labs. And I hope to hear more about this partnership in the near future because it does sound extremely exciting. Now, additionally, Algo Mint opens BTC and ETH ETH floodgates to Algorand. The blockchain best pose for mass adoption. Algo Mint launched its mainnet on Algorand, enabling interoperability with a gateway bridge between Bitcoin and Ethereum network and Algorand. Algorand is an open source blockchain equipped to serve a wide array of global use cases, given its superior performance scalability, security, stability and functionality, and has proven its robustness as the platform of choice for a wave of adoption that spans from DeFi innovations to gaming, to national institutive, to national initiatives in El Salvador, Bermuda, Colombia, Italy, and more countries. Now the launch of Algorand marks yet another milestone towards the inevitable cryptocurrency mainstream adoption and it removes the speed and cost of hurdles for BTC and ETH in everyday use by implementing their synthetic version of Algorand while the users retain while the users retain and enjoy the store of value properties of the original assets. It's opened the floodgates as the assets could now unlock their value Potential by reducing transaction costs to almost negligible, path taken in a flourishing DeFi ecosystem and finding powerful use cases. Algorand brings together traditional and decentralized finance for facilitating the unprecedented tide of asset value transfer under the backdrop of historical hyperinflation caused by unsolvable financial challenges of our time. That, ladies and gents, in brief, is the latest updates on the Algorand ecosystem. Now, there's plenty more things that we could go through on the Algorand ecosystem. Liquidity protocol AlgoFi launched on Algorand, offering a lending market, stablecoin, and liquidity incentive. And it goes beyond that as well. AlgoFi raises $2.8 million to build a decentralized lending market. Green Climate Deo set to unlock the power of the crowd to fight climate change. Planet Watch selects City of Miami to deploy an air quality monitoring network. This is exciting, just more and more updates on the Algorand ecosystem. So there's plenty of things to go through, 
but in this video we can't cover everything unfortunately so if you do want me to make another video on Algorand talking more about the ecosystem then yes leave a comment and let me know what in the Algorand ecosystem specifically you want to hear me talk about and break down now let's go into our price prediction it's currently $1.43 now, believe me or not, I actually think this is extremely undervalued for many good reasons. For one, the market cap is 9.2 billion. I think that is undervalued because in the future of Algorand, in long term, you're looking at the next year to three years, Algorand could possibly go to 20 billion in market cap, 30 billion in market cap, and I wouldn't be surprised if it hit 40 billion in market cap. Now, something to keep in mind is that the Algorand blockchain is entirely decentralized which means that there's no power central authority or a single point of control. A unique community of users is randomly and securely selected to approve every block. Nodes are run by entities representing diverse backgrounds across many different countries. This is good. So it's decentralized for one. That is exactly what we need. But my reasons for Algorand being able to double its value or even triple its value within the next one to three years goes far beyond that is mostly because of how the platform allows people to, to develop on the platform and, and to build up on the platform. It's a really good ecosystem. What's important to understand on the Algorand ecosystem is that they want more people to build on their ecosystem and they want to show you just how simple it is to build on their ecosystem. And this is good because this will invite more people to build upon Algorand, which is great. This will drive the price. This will incentivize more people to hold this crypto. Now, of course, this is not financial advice, but I'll just go into specific words. Uh, we got public information from the Algorand website itself. Algorand open source implementation makes it simple and fast for developers to build on blockchains. Algorand makes it easy to build and deploy blockchain based solution for a world where everyone creates and exchange value efficiently, transparently and securely. That's what they're saying. They're saying that the implementations make it simple and easy and fast to deploy and build on the blockchain, on Algorand. This is exactly what they want. This is exactly what they need. Benefits to building on Algorand. And I think building upon the blockchain is what's driving the blockchain to be more successful. You got to understand the reason why Ethereum is extremely valuable right now is because it's a DApp building platform. You can, you can build upon Ethereum. You can actually use the, the, the language Ethereum was built in, Solidity, to, to build upon Ethereum. Isn't that incredible? But let's look at other cryptos, other blockchains, such as Solana, Terra, Polkadot, Avalanche. These are all DApp building platforms, and they've become extremely popular and extremely valuable in the last year. Why is this? Because they are DApp building platforms, and people love DApps. They're decentralized apps. It's the same reason why you love the apps on your iPhone or the apps on your Android Play Store is because apps are fun. They're games, they're useful apps for different applications, maybe social media. It could be anything, but these apps on our phones are useful. It's the same thing for decentralized apps, also known as dApps. Built for global scale, high throughput and block finality. Algorand can actually complete up to a thousand transactions per second, which of course, it's a long way off from Solano, which can do like 40 or 50 thousand transactions per second. But Algorand being able to complete up to a thousand transactions per second is much better than Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think Bitcoin completes up to seven or eight transactions per second approximately. Ethereum is more like 12, 13, 14 transactions per second. Algorand does a thousand transactions per second. Layer one stateful and stateless smart contracts. They want to put a huge emphasis on smart contracts because these days smart contracts are like everything and they're becoming more and more popular. The reason why they're not extremely popular already is most likely because people can't understand smart contracts. They still find it difficult to understand something that they can't interpret, something that they can't see. Smart contracts is hidden in the background. It's hidden in the blockchain. Smart contracts is, is much different and it's not very modernized for the, for the everyday person to understand, unfortunately. It's more for the technical people to understand what smart contracts are, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a smart contract. It's just like a normal contract, but this contract executes its orders or executes its, executes upon instructions, basically whatever terms and instructions and and deals that were put into the smart contracts, those would be executed up on a given threshold. Whether those demands or deal or terms were met or not met, there will always be something in the smart contracts. 
Algorand and frictionless finance. Finance is the big thing and it's becoming bigger and bigger every day because everyone is learning that actually keeping your money in the bank is basically useless. Everyone wants to invest nowadays. Once again, not financial advice, but Algorand has once again proposed a major protocol upgrade that significantly expands the range of decentralized application, also known as dApps, decentralized finance, also known as DeFi solutions, and the processes that can be built on the Algorand blockchain. Now with this new suite of features, all built directly into layer one enterprise scale distributed apps can be created without sacrificing performance or security. You hear that? You can build these dApps, these apps without sacrificing the performance or security. It's great. In traditional economy, there exists a trust or legal framework on the blockchain. Atomic Transfer provides a trustless solution in layer one. Within the traditional economy, there's always a trust data framework like a bank. Now, Autonomic Transfer offers a secure way to simultaneously transfer a number of assets amongst a number of parties. Specifically, many transactions are grouped together and either all transactions are executed or none of them are executed. Basically, what that means is that there'll be a smart contract being handled. Unique functionality, truly atomic. There is no need for an escrow or reliance on on hash time lock contracts this is a new way to technically execution of complex transactions that is smooth and fast. Now there is more that we could go into, but like I said, we want to keep this video nice, short and sweet. If you do enjoy this video and you'd like me to go more in depth on one of these subjects, then let me know in the comments. Let's have a discussion and I will make an additional video. Now in the last day or so, it's actually been trying to recover. I'd say it's it's definitely found some new ceilings in the in the last 24 hours, but we we want to look beyond that. We actually we actually want to look within the last within the last month, and Algorand has been as low as one dollar and 28 cents or 26 cents. It's extremely low within the last month. That was mostly in December, but what you have to understand is that the entire crypto market has been affected by Christmas. It always be. It, it always gets affected by Christmas. I was predicting it. I don't know if anyone remembers, but I was saying that people are going to be buying presents. People are not going to be buying cryptos, basically. People are going to be investing in family and friends, vacation, enjoying Christmas, not thinking about cryptos. And this is why the market has certainly gone down in volume. But early this year, the market will go back onto its bull run. There will be another bull run. Don't you worry about that. If you look at Algorand in the last three months, it's actually been as high as $2.25. Really impressive, $2.26. Because even when there is a crash, even when there is a lot of volatility, you're not losing a lot of money. Once again, not financial advice, but you can see that actually being around $2.26, the lowest it fell was around $1.28 or 20, 27 cents. Basically, it fell $1.00. Basically, it lost one dollar in that in, in in that transfer within the last within the last um, within the last three months. But that's actually quite impressive because there's other cryptos who've lost a lot more. Algorand is actually quite safe. You can see that just by looking at the charts. It's actually a relatively safe crypto. So the question is, what can we expect from Algorand early this year or through its entirety of this year? Well, I think we can certainly see Algorand going above two dollars again. We can certainly see it even perhaps go into $3 this year, $3 for the first time in history. That would be something else. If there is a time that Algorand will get to $3, it's perhaps this year. $5 is perhaps in the next year or two. I'd say, I'd say for Algorand to go to at least $5, what you have to understand is that $3 is already doubling its market cap, which means that its market cap will be around 18.4 or 18.5 billion. So for Algorand to get to $5, it would actually have to 4X right now, which means that it will be somewhere around 35 to 40 billion in market cap. Now I'm not saying that's impossible, but it's certainly in the question, at least for the next couple of years, Algorand getting to $5. Like I said, market cap is gonna go up close to 40 billion. But nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more. Hope you've enjoyed my price analysis. And thank you for watching until the end. I really appreciate that. If I missed anything in this video, please leave a comment below and uh, let's have a discussion. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.